Let's pray before we begin. Lord, please let us understand your word and put it in our hearts. May it shape our lives to be more like your Son. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. Psalm 114 When Israel went out of Egypt, the house of Jacob from a people of strange language, Judah was his sanctuary and Israel his dominion. The sea saw it and fled. Jordan was driven back. The mountains skipped like rams and the little hills like lambs. What ailed thee, O thou sea, that thou fleddest? Thou, Jordan, that thou wast driven back, ye mountains, that ye skipped like rams, and ye little hills like lambs. Tremble, thou earth, at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the God of Jacob, which turned the rock into a standing water, the flint into a fountain of waters. Matthew Henry Commentary on Psalms, Chapter 114 Let us acknowledge God's power and goodness in what he did for Israel, applying it to that much greater work of wonder, our redemption by Christ, and encourage ourselves and others to trust in God in the greatest straits. When Christ comes for the salvation of his people, he redeems them from the power of sin and Satan, separates them from an ungodly world, forms them to be his people, and becomes their king. There is no sea, no Jordan, so deep, so broad, but when God's time is come, it shall be divided and driven back. Apply this to the planting the Christian church in the world. What ailed Satan and his idolatries that they trembled as they did? But especially apply it to the work of grace in the heart. What turns the stream in a regenerate soul? What affects the lusts and corruptions that they fly back, that prejudices are removed, and the whole man becomes new? It is at the presence of God's Spirit, at the presence of the Lord not only mountains, but the earth itself may well tremble, since it has lain under a curse for man's sin. As the Israelites were protected, so they were provided for by miracles. Such was that fountain of waters into which the flinty rock was turned, and that rock was Christ. The Son of God, the rock of ages, gave himself to death, to open a fountain to wash away sins, and to supply believers with waters of life and consolation. And they need not fear that any blessing is too great to expect from his love. But let sinners fear before their just and holy judge. Let us now prepare to meet our God, that we may have boldness before him at his coming. Please consider, how does this chapter apply to you? Thank you for listening. If you want to know more about Jesus and what the gospel means to you, then hit the video shown on the left of the screen and please don't forget to subscribe. May the Lord Jesus Christ bless your day. Hello, we are Mark and Pearl Lambert, and we are the ministers of Jesus Answers Prayers. If you like this ministry, please help support it. The link to donate is found in the description below. Thank you and God bless.